Welcome back to Prep Recruiting Inside of PRI. I'm the coach of PRI, Rick Gailey, along with our insider, Renee Nato. And this is the Lamarck Ford Legends of the Game. Lamarck Motor Company on Williams Boulevard in Kenner, the big store. Stop by and see one of the Lamarck brothers or one of their other fine associates so that they could take. Welcome back to Prep Recruiting Insider here at NOLA Motorsports Park in Avondale. I'm Rick Gailey, the coach of PRI, along with our insider, Mr. Rene Nato. And this is the Lamarck Ford Legends of the Game, Lamarck Motor Company on Williams Boulevard. Stop by the big store in Kenner to get your automotive needs taken care of by either one of the Lamarck brothers themselves or any one of their great sales associates. And our prep recruiting inside a legend this week is Mr. Joe McKnight, formerly of John Curtis. And Joe, I know the back of your jersey only too well because we had several games <laughs> now with St. James. And I could tell you the back of his jersey at, at, at number four would get smaller and smaller <laughs> as, as he was running away from us. Joe, welcome to prep recruiting oh, thank inside. You for Appreciate it. It's great to have a guy who was number one recruit in an entire country in 2007. And Joe, I, I know you're pretty good. And, and, and I remember people wanted to know, where was Joe McKnight going to go? Is it going to be LSU? Is it going to be Southern Cal? Is it going to be Alabama? How was the recruiting process for you? What did it come down to? Was it ever LSU? What saw you on Southern Cal? I know it's a lot of questions, but no, how was that whole process, Joe? I mean, how did it work out? Was LSU ever in it? Uh, the process was fun. I mean, I loved the process, the recruiting process. It was an enjoyable time. You know, my family loved it. I loved it. My friends and coaches loved it. Um, I mean, it was it came it came down to a tough decision. And LSU was I was going to LSU, but you know, it was kind of like forced to me to go to SC by less miles. You know, I, it was a, a time on my recruiting visit. I walked in his office and he was showing me all highlight tapes of USC uh, and, and Reggie Bush. So. I was like, coach, I might just go to SC, you know? Like, so, you know, that was a came down to decision. You know, I just went with the, the, the school that was going to uh, use me the most and use me the best way to show my abilities. And you had a, a pretty well-known recruiting coach at, yeah. uh, at USC, a name that we would all uh, remember and recognize. Won't you talk about who your recruiting coach was uh, and the staff that was at USC at that particular time? Uh, Ken Norton Jr. was my recruiter. Uh, he was a linebacker coach, but he had the, the southern uh, part of the United States at that time. And, um, and the coaching staff at that time was awesome. You know, Coach Carroll had an awesome coaching staff and he brought an awesome energy around us the whole year, the whole, year, the, the whole time I was there. So it was fun to have that experience with Coach Carroll. Joe, you have had a, a, a very, very interesting NFL career. We're going to talk about where you are now, but uh, you have been in a Pro Bowl in 2012. Uh, remember, you had a, a, a 107-yard kick return on a Sunday night against the Ravens, and you had a, a 100-yarder against uh, the Houston Texans. Punt return, kick return is also something that people didn't, I don't think people realize how good you were at it, and you have made a Pro Bowl career. Uh, how interesting has it been as a good running back and also parlay into a return specialist? Uh, it's it's, it's a awesome, you know, it, uh, this is saying that go around, the more the better. So the more you can do, the better you can be and the better you can last in this league. So, you know, it was fun doing those things, you know, and I, I'm glad that at that time, Coach Mike Westhoff at the Jets put me in a position to know to make plays. Now you, uh, you, you went to Southern Cal and, and they used you pretty well. You had a uh, 206 yard all purpose game against Illinois in a Rose Bowl, 125 yards uh, on carries, on 10 carries. And, and here's you a little bit um, showing some flash and some skills here, Joe. And uh, you, you really 
you, you looked the same when you, as, as Coach Rick Gailey said, you saw that number four running away. You didn't see the front of number four very often in college or in high school. And, you know, I, the first person I look at when I see this show is, is Reggie Bush. Uh, who was your guy growing up? Who was the guy that you kind of emulated your style? I was, I was always in love with the local guy, Mr. Marshall Falk. You know, the way he played the game, you know, he played running back, but he also lined up in the side and played receiver. So, you know, that was my favorite player. That was my favorite running back growing up, and I always watched him. And that was another guy that went to the West Coast yeah. uh, to, to really start uh, making his mark as well. Uh, Joe, I, of course, Ridiculously familiar with you when you were you were playing at John Curtis, but you were there during Katrina, yeah, uh, as well. And as I remember, you're going to have to uh, stimulate my mind a little bit since our show was very, very stimulating. Uh, what happened after Katrina? I believe you even attended Evangel. For uh, a while. I went to Evangel for a couple of weeks. Uh, just did I, I think three weeks out there, and I kind of started missing JT and missing Tommy and everybody, and I just had to come home. Well, you are now, you're here for a reason. I'm, we're glad you're here, yeah. but uh, you're kind of coming back from an injury you yeah. suffered on September 26th, but you're with the uh, Kansas City Chiefs right now, yeah. and that is a great place for you. Andy Reid, a guy who has some local ties here, Eric Bieniemy is the running backs coach, uh, Jamal Charles is a running back with you. You have a great offense, a team that can go all the way. First of all, tell everybody about the injury you suffered and, and how that's coming along. Well, you know, my injury was, it came at a, it came at a, a weird time, you know, I just come off a great game that, that Sunday and I was just, you know, going and just hitting my stride and just looking forward to having a great year. It was a Wednesday at practice and I just turned to catch the ball like this, my Achilles pop and um, just a tough, you know, tough situation, but I'm going to get through it. I'm going to be back next year. You know, they say nine months, I'm going to be back in seven or even earlier than that, you know, but I'm going to come back stronger. That's a good fit for you in Kansas City, Joe. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. Coach Reed is, you know, he loves running backs and he loves running backs that can, you know, line up in the slot and you know, he like he like mixed matches, you know. So, you know, he used it and I love being there and I love staying there. He he likes running backs that can catch the ball. He doesn't always <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean he doesn't right always now, like right, handing it yeah, to him. Like right now, we don't have a, a wide receiver on the team that caught a touchdown. It's either right. a running back or a tight end. So. And you get Dwayne with you over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Like Debo is doing great. You know, he's an ultimate leader. You know, Debo, he never complains about anything. He comes to work every day, and he's a leader in our locker room. And, you know, it's always good to have somebody that went up the road to LSU in the locker room. I mean, I get to talk smack to him every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you've had some good experiences or some varied experiences with, uh, with coaches that uh, – not only at the collegiate, but the professional level yeah. as well. Pete Carroll, uh, who is with Seattle now, yes. but was your coach at USC and now Coach Reed. Why don't you compare and contrast a little bit uh, the style well, I had, of I had, one of I those. had three different coaches, uh, Rex Ryan too. Um, coach Reed is more like, you know, he's more of an old school mentality. You know, we're going to work hard and we're going to keep working hard until is done and when it's done we're gonna come back the next day we're gonna keep working hard you know fight 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 we'll fall this way as Pete Carroll and Rex Ryan is just have fun you know you know not not saying coach Reed not not to like to have fun but you know it's more fun with you know with coach Carroll and coach Ryan because it's more like a competition atmosphere right. you know Pete, coach Carroll would do things is like he pair players up and he kind of make you go against each other. And like, he kind of say some things about this person that you said. <laughs> like, and he kind of make y'all go at it a little bit at practice. And that's what make, makes you come out and want to be the best, and, you know, and just work hard. In the last minute or so, Joe, uh, JT Curtis has meant a lot to you personally and, and where you are right now. Uh, what, what, what does he mean, JT, has he meant to you? Uh, he's my, he's, he means everything to me, you know. Um, Really, if JT would never took me in, I probably would not be sitting, you know, got to the place I would never been to, seen the things I would never seen. You know, during that whole recruiting process, you know, I always went to JT. He helped me out a lot with that. You know, people got mad at me because he didn't get me to go to LSU, but that's not his fault. So that's, right. that's my decision, you know, but I love JT and Ms. Diddy and the whole Curtis family. That's what coaching is all about, doing what's best for the player and helping them realize their dream. Thank you for being no here. Problem. Joe, we appreciate Joe as a Lamarck legend of the game. We will be right back after this break on PRI.